Senator Heather Pierce. Um, yeah, thank you, uh, Provost Richter Meyer. That's the most I've ever heard lecturers mentioned in any report ever, and you preempted my question a little bit. I will also add because uh, that um, we had held our first lecture or campus-wide lecture orientation for lecturers as well uh, in New Brunswick, thanks to Provost Tomlinson Clark's office and particularly Vice Provost um, Vicki Banyard. So, and it was an amazing event, and um, and I know those new lecturers feel a lot more included than I did when I started here. So my question is, um, this is for all provosts. To what extent are teaching faculty, uh, lecturers, and NTTs incorporated into the decision-making spaces that deal with the curriculum, teaching, class size, and the provision of education on your campus? And can you provide specific examples of how the voices of teaching faculty, particularly lecturers, are included in the education policy at the local, so the department uh, level, unit level, and campus levels on your campus? Thank you. Well, I'll start, if that's okay with my other two provosts. Um, maybe right now at this moment, or just um, finishing up now, um, the chair's meeting that's today at this time at the Rutgers Club, uh, Vice Provost David Schreiber is meeting with the chairs about this very issue, about including all faculty in decision-making. And on our website, which will come... It's being revised, the Office of the Provost website. We have um, information um, for faculty, and that's all faculty that will be on that website. So um, that should be coming out. I'm hoping not to put our on blast, but maybe like in the next week or so. But um, yes, Heather, uh, and I want to thank you so much for all that you did for the lecturer orientation. That was That felt good to be there, and it also... I, and I said there um, and that morning that um, it took too long to happen, but it's happening. And so I, I really appreciate all that you did to make that a reality. Thank you. 